Hey guys, it's Brother John. So good to be here with you today. And I'm just uh, excited about today's podcast because I get to share something a little different with you. We're going to take just a quick uh, departure from the seven words of worship this time to talk about something that's been going on and also just giving you a call to prayer. And uh, that uh, will be coming up at the end of this. So without further ado, I'd like to show you uh, the work that Cheryl and Aaron have been doing. Let me take you to the men's robe room. As you can see in the men's robe room, all of the music has been boxed and labeled, and uh, we still have stuff on the top there on the filing cabinet, but we're in pretty good shape. We've, we've got probably still a couple of days worth of filing to do, but it has been painted and cleaned and everything is off of the bottom of the, the robe room. Now the next robe room we're going to take a look at will be the ladies robe room. And so uh, as you can see, we have uh, again music all filed away and put together real well. Uh, we have made a little room for some timpani for the moment just to make sure that uh, we can get it all in there. And we've got every, again things boxed and painted and cleaned and uh, carpets have all been cleaned as well. And so that's the ladies robe room uh, we got the bells down there and and uh, again the timpani so you can see that so again I'm very proud of what the ladies have done but now it's time for the piste de resistance so here we go first of all you're gonna walk in from the sanctuary into the choir room and here's what that looks like feast your eyes on that we have a focal wall there on the back that dark blue wall and then everything else has been painted. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it from uh, from about where Shola sits on a Sunday. So let's take a look at it from this angle and you can see that uh, everything is again the carpets have been cleaned. Uh, if you'll remember we had water damage to that back wall and of course that's all been repainted. Everything has been rehung and recast and uh, we're real excited about the look of that. Now, what I want to do is I want to step down and kind of give you a frontal view of what it looks like. We have the chairs in there, and we just put those chairs in there this week. So uh, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited how it all looks. And this is the prayer request. In here are 50 chairs. I would like to have 50 by next Christmas. And so what I need you to do is I need you to help me pray for 50 people, 50 souls, for our choir for this Christmas season. And so that's the podcast for today. I wanted to show you the great work, again, that Cheryl and Aaron have been doing. And then also, I wanted to call you to pray. When you see the number 50, and you're going to see it a lot in our writings, you're going to be reminded about it, we're going to talk 50-50-50. That is something that we're going to shoot for for next Christmas because we're going to be back by next Christmas, of course. And um, we need to have this goal to even now be praying for. And so if you're wondering what you can do for your uh, worship ministry, you can pray. You can pray that we will have 50 people. Now, I would love to say if we get 50 people, I will shave my head, but that really doesn't make any difference whatsoever, does it? But anyway... Um, I think when we get 50 people, we're going to be overjoyed, and it's going to be just such a, a great, thrilling sound. So that being said, um, I will uh, be seeing you very soon. Don't forget to Zoom with me Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. I've been enjoying that so much, and uh, the prayer requests, uh, I'm praying for you all every day. And so uh, with that being said, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.